Oh, man, um, <laughs> it took me a while to actually think how I was going to review these, and I decided, well, I'll certainly have to go handheld, and, um, <laughs> I'm just sitting in my normal chair, just kind of looking down on this thing, and thinking, good lord, isn't it big? Um, yeah, I'm not just going to be reviewing the Shock Trooper, I'm also going to be taking a look at the 500 first. Um, Commander Cody is also slated for release, yes, but, um... <laughs> These are the only two that are currently out. Um, as far as I know, he is a he is a Target exclusive and he is a Toys R Us exclusive, as far as I can tell. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, these are the giant 31-inch Jack specific clone troopers. Um, they also made a Darth Vader. They made like Batman. They're making Power Rangers and Superman. Yeah, there's loads of these things out now. They're like <laughs> they're starting to become the toy to get for kids. Um, and well, for like. 30 bucks a pop, I really couldn't resist. Um, these are really nicely sculpted and made. Um, obviously they're gigantic. I mean, just to give you a comparison with, like, the nearest thing I can find, here's old Carbonite Han Solo. Yeah, um, yeah, this is really, really big. Um, and, just to give you another comparison with a more, well, let's say, modern or more collector-friendly figure. Here is with Black Series Greedo. And you can see... I mean, this thing is huge. I mean, just look at this thing. And Black Series Greedo... Uh, I'll, I'll be reviewing him soon. Um, <laughs> I'm telling you, these things are just absolutely gigantic. And sorry I'm not all... <laughs> I'm, not as, as, I'm not as enthusiastic as I typically am, just because, well, I don't know why. I'm just kind of tired today. But, well, these are really big... <laughs> and that's kind of the main gimmick to them now, isn't it? Um, now, these things have a lot of great detail. They are really movie accurate. And the head sculpt is really nice on all of these. I mean, they're actually really movie accurate. I mean, I'm telling you, even Sideshow Collectibles is having uh, troubles with the uh, Phase 2 helmet design. And Jack Specific has almost got down to a T. I mean, really, I mean, really nice three-dimensional sculpt. I mean, obviously, it's not going to be as, like, worn and detailed as Sideshow Collectibles, just because, well, I mean, <laughs> if it was, it'd probably be, like, 60 bucks. But a lot of, just, a lot of great detail. Really love it. I mean, he has really nice paint quality, too. Um, shoulder pads are not painted. They're just, um, in red plastic. I mean, overall, just all over this thing, just really great. You can see the wrist here. Mm -hmm. Just turn the wrist there, and you can see, and even the legs too. Here, just let me pick them up. It's really hard to pick up, but you can just see really great detail. The the foot is probably one of the weakest parts, but overall, this thing is just massive, immense, and really, really nice. Um, turning him around, unfortunately, kind of reveals that he is a well, kind of a mess when it comes to the screws. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'd say he has a good like. I'd say 10, 20 screws, um, but still, the detailing does continue. Uh, you can see the blaster there, which I will be covering. Um, here, just <laughs> let me arrange this. You can see it's like on my lap right now. Uh, just get his arm up. You can see the blaster is really, really big and nice. I mean, a lot of just great detailing on here. You can see those are the two individual pieces. And as you can see, the other side still is Screw City. Um... But yeah, this is just really nice. Really impressive shock trooper here. And, I mean, the articulation on these things are pretty nice. Uh, <laughs> for their size, at least. I mean, they could be better, but... Let's look at the 500 first here. Let's look at his detailing. I mean, it's pretty simple and pretty basic. Honestly, I prefer the, sh the, um, the 500 first, just with the paint, because, I mean, look at my room, and it's like nothing but blue. But, I mean... Just overall, really nice detailing. The detailing goes throughout. I mean, they even got the little bit of blue at the wrist. I mean, just absolutely amazing. I mean, for how big it is, and for how cheap it is, too. I mean, only 30 bucks. Dang. Just overall, really nice detail. And you can see, it's like, this white is actually painted on. Um, just flipping them around again, so you can see the back. You can see they even got that blue painted there, and some more blue. I mean, overall, these things are just so impressive. And <laughs> you can see, it's like, just using my legs isn't even enough. 
There we go. Let's set them down. Now let's look at the articulation on these things. Articulation, he has a swivel at the head. He has a really kind of weird swivel at the um, arms here. It's like they go back, which is actually quite weird. They go back this much, and they go forward this much. It's like they kind of have a limit as to where they end. I mean, you can't really flip this up anymore because, as you can see, it just kind of stops. Um, he has a swivel at each wrist. And the last bit of articulation, to get him on my lap here again, is a... not really much of a hip joint, but it is there, and it is enough. Um, <laughs> these things are just immense. I mean, just look at this thing. Just look at it. I mean, just compare it to my shelves. I mean, it is absolutely, absolutely enormous. Um, <laughs> it took me a while to actually find a spot for them, and they eventually got a home in front of my dresser. So whenever I want to get a new pair of pants, I have to always move these guys, which is great. But, um, <laughs> yeah, I really can't wait for the Commander Cody to come out. Jack Specific has done a great job with these. If you're a clone enthusiast like I am, I highly recommend them. But if you really don't have the space for these... I would say give them a pass. Um, here, just let me get up here to my clone shelves and just get out the latest versions of these guys. Like here, here's a 500 first. As you can see, little 500 first and big one together. And getting him back there. <laughs> this is also a bit of an excuse just to show you my immense clone collection. And luckily, he's easier to get. Oh, thank goodness. And here's the shock trooper. I'm telling you, these things are just big. And you can see it's like, even compared to this home, at this home, it's still pretty big. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> yeah, you can tell it's probably my biggest problem with these guys. I don't like their big helmets. But yeah, that is really it with this review, guys. Um, here's a look at these. I'm just showing you next to my leg here. They go about, hmm, <laughs> actually, <laughs> my mid-thigh is how high they go. So yeah, these things are really, really big. For 30 bucks, absolutely get them. They're more of a gimmick than an actual, well, action figure you'd actually enjoy. Like, taking it with you, posing it around, I mean, it's just a big gimmick to have in your room. I mean, it's, <laughs> I mean, you can't take this thing around, you can't, you know, you just can't grab it and put it in your pocket. I mean, it's it's not like that. But <laughs> it is absolutely amazing to own. I really love seeing these things in my room whenever I go by. And, well, let's just say, Jack Specific, if you're watching this, I cannot wait for Commander Cody. I cannot wait for it. Oh, man, I cannot wait for Cody. And, well, guys, that is really it with this video. I um, hope you enjoyed it. Taking a look at the Jack Specific 31 inch clone troopers. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe. Check out my Facebook page if you have a chance. Have a good day, guys, and as always, may the force be with you. Bye. <laughs>